very good choice. The Skunk, who didn't want to stink. Created and written by Taylor Brandon. Which sense do animals love more than the rest? To them, the sense of smell is the best. The sight of one gives the rest a scare. That is, a skunk with his tail held in the air. No one wants to face a skunk's wrath. No one wants a chemical bath. For the skunks, this is a blessing and a curse. Even friendly animals avoid them, for better or for worse. This brings us to a mother and a father skunk who live with their daughter and son, Smelvin McStunk. Smelvin's mom was happy. She was glad. The stink bomb plant she said, just hired your dad. So we're moving to a house on a dead-end street where there are lots of new children to meet. Smelvin's mom left the room. Smelvin's sister was happy, but he was full of gloom. Smelvin's sister said, This is great. I'll make new pals. I can't wait. Smelvin said, I have to leave my pals behind. Being a skunk, new friends aren't easy to find. Smelvin's sister said, You're bright and fun. Be yourself and you'll make more pals than anyone. Smelvin said, A skunk has never been hip. I will never be a social director on a cruise ship. It won't happen, for everyone is afraid that one day I'll slip and they'll get sprayed. <sighs> and I don't blame them, for if I do cut loose, someone's going to be soaking in tomato juice. His sister said, You're wrong. Wait and see. The next day, Smelvin's family moved into a tree. Smelvin stayed inside. He was alone. Scared to meet his neighbors, he stayed on his own. Smelvin was sad and blue. He saw some flour and knew what to do. He began rubbing the flour onto his back, turning his color to white from black. Smelvin said, with all this flowery junk, no one will ever know that I'm a skunk. <laughs> if my parents knew, they would rant and rave, and my grandparents would roll over in their grave. But if I want to make friends, it's a chance I must take, for there's only one way to do it, and that's to fake. Grabbing some deodorant, Smelvin added, I may as well smell good, too, while I'm at it. Smelvin looked at himself and said with a sigh, Time to go outside and give this thing a try. Smelvin passed himself off as someone he was not, and the more kids he met, the more pals he got. Smelvin would spend his days making many a friend, and after washing himself, his nights as a skunk again. But as his game went on day in and day out, Smelvin's mind was filling up with doubt. He said, This is more than I can handle. If the truth came out, it would be a scandal. I'm also starting to run low on flour, and my parents think something is sour. They ask why there's less flour every day. Huh? Huh? This game I got myself into is hard to play. <coughs> but 
I can't stop now. I'm in too deep. If I told my pals, they'd think I'm a creep. <laughs> Smelvin the skunk continued his charade, wondering how he'd get out of the mess he had made. A pack of wolves ended our pal's hike. Each of them was riding a motorbike. Before our pals knew it, they were under attack by the Alpha Wolves, the feared wolf pack. The head wolf said, Kiss your pals goodbye. You're all headed for the big forest in the sky. <laughs> One animal said, Knowing a skunk would be a plus, it'd be great having a pal like that to save us. Meeting them scary, but they're as nice as can be. And right now, one of them would come in handy. Smelvin the skunk knew what to do. He reached out and poked you-know-who. He said, I'll give you one chance, and that's it. When I count to three, you'd better split. The wolf said, You're warning me? That's a joke. Next you will tell me I shouldn't smoke. <laughs> Smelvin said, I warned you, as he began to spray. Hit by the cloud, the wolves rode off and are still riding today. Smelvin shook the powder off. He could no longer pretend. His days of fooling his pals had come to an end. Smelvin learned making friends is never easy to do. Be yourself, and that someone will always shine through. The End Click to subscribe. Visit back soon for our next adventure.